I pull out the camera and Elias goes, hey, good job. And I goes, is this from my vlog? No, you don't vlog anymore. I got weekends. You don't pick up the camera. Hello, good morning. I didn't mean to start off the vlog with us arguing, but I'm definitely officially cutting you out of the camera. Out of the clip, whatever. <laughs> um, oh, I Inside the camera. <laughs> Oh, they're in the computer. Um, hi. Welcome. We are fixing the camera. We are childless. They are with my parents. Tomorrow is my dad's birthday. So, um, I don't know why I'm explaining that. Even if it was my dad's birthday, my parents would probably still want to hang out with the kids. Um, and we are off to get ourselves a billy goat. We are gonna get a male goat so we can finally breed the females. We wanted to wait until they were um, at least a year before we did. So uh, all four of them at once. And goats are known for having more than one baby at a time. We could be looking at, <laughs> we could be looking at eight babies. The whole intent of getting goats was one, they're awesome. Two, they're milk. So that's why we chose Nigerian dwarfs over um, any other. What, what's the other one? The, the, the meat, the small meat goat. No, Nubian. There's the, the large ones with the floppy ears. Well, I'm, I'm totally blanking. Nubians from Star Wars. <laughs> Actually, Nubians have ears like Jar Jar Binks. Uh, well, Jar Jar's not a Nubian. I'm trying to think. Star Wars nerds, my fellow subscribers. Not really, this is your channel. But what is it? It's a Nubian, it's from Phantom Menace. It's when they talk about Nubian. Oh no, the, ship? the battery's dying. Is a species? Oh no. Comment below. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, we just obviously, not obviously, you weren't there, I didn't take you with us. We stopped at Starbucks. Got sausage breakfast sandwiches um, and actually cold drinks because I didn't want a hot drink. I'm I, I'm warm. I think I put in too, too many layers. I am very stuttery today. Why am I so stuttery? I don't know. <laughs> so now we're heading on down to Moody to. Uh, that sounded so Texan. Heading on down to Moody. Now we're uh, fixing to head on down to Moody and pick ourselves up a Billy goat and. Pygmy was the other small goat breed that I was thinking of. We're, ta we're taking 35 down to Moody. Not the 35. Just 35. Just 35. Apparently, people here don't say the in front of the freeway, and so we give ourselves away. And we're like, oh yeah, I went down the 35 or I took the six. Do you guys say the in front of your freeways or highways? Or do you just say 35? Burning questions we need answers to. What other places could we fit in by saying the? in front of the freeway name. We, uh, I opened the windows last night. You can't tell, but it's obscenely windy. Let me see if I can flip around so you can see this. Tree going nuts. Not really. A solid, solid clip. Okay. We're looking at winds close to 30 miles an hour, on and off. I opened the windows last night, especially with the kids being gone. The rooms were a little stale. Especially the girls. They just get all of that hot sun all day. And yesterday it was like 75. So last night I was like, okay, I'm gonna open windows. The breeze is just gonna kick through the house. Notice I said breeze, because that's last night. It felt more like a breeze. Woke up and it was 43 degrees inside of our house. <laughs> I practically broke the internet the other day when I told them that we had the heat at like 62. I don't know. It is cold. Most, most certainly, and when we closed the windows, it heated back up pretty quickly, but we obviously didn't have a heater up. Yeah. 43 degrees. I'm gonna go eat my food without talking to you anymore. Why did I end the clip like that? I don't know, but I dragged all of us through it collectively. Thank you, goodbye. Oh, are you ready to meet him? Hi, Jack. This is Jack. Finally made it back. Oh, I didn't mean to run. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. I'm just gonna film clips and throw music on over it and we'll talk to you inside.
younger, I think. Oh, I don't know if I should film this. Oh, the tongue. Yep, I'm put this way. So we are. <laughs> I didn't do my hair or my makeup today, y'all. So weird. We're staying. We're still slumming it. Elias and I have very different energies for what we want to do next. I literally, I just asked him. I was like, "Do you want to like maybe put on a movie and like go snuggle on the couch or something?" And he was like. And immediately I knew, immediately I knew. I was like, you're in go mode, aren't you? And he started laughing. I'm like, no! I had to come in from, um, after we put Jack with the rest of the herd because my teeth were chattering. Because I think, what do we have right now? I'm, I'm consistently always looking to justify why I'm cold to you guys because we live in Texas and so we shouldn't be this cold, right? Wrong. Let's see, we've got 26 mile an hour winds. It is 43 degrees outside, but it feels like 34. It's cold. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. So I wanted to kind of see how he interacted with the rest of the herd, but I did not, I didn't want to stay out there. So now, knowing that Elias wants like to go out and work on the fence or something. Like, are you sure I can't draw you over to the dark side? Yep. You really gonna go work? Yep. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, I think actually we're gonna move the puppies um, before he gets started on working. It's. Because it's so cold, or when it gets super cold, we try not to have them out. Um, we still have, yeah, the five left. Uh, but because, no, uh, 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 stay, sit, sit, good boy, stay. Um, but because the sun is pretty warm. Oh, oh, <laughs> where are you going? You missed. <gasps> hi, hi. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So while Elias is working outside, I'm gonna save these tomatoes before they turn um, and get started on a roasted tomato soup. I already have um, some roasted tomato soup frozen in our large freezer, but I'm gonna make more because there's no point, there's absolutely no point in wasting these tomatoes. So I typically like to use a mix of fresh and then canned um, San Marzano, simply because it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing when I can say stuff like that. But really, I just use whatever I have on hand, and I roast the fresh ones. The canned ones are a lot harder to roast because they're just so wet, basically, because they're just covered in uh, tomato juice. So I've got five here. I might have a few more I can toss in there, but this is such an easy thing to make, and I like to get it started um, earlier in the day if I have time, because if I can roast these for like 45 minutes to an hour, so good as opposed to, you know, if I'm trying to rush it last minute before dinner, then we don't get that like caramelization, that really good flavor. So I'll roast that along with some garlic and um, definitely, definitely at least one full onion. I'll roast that too. But I'll show you guys how I do that in just a sec. I should get the rest of my supplies ready though. My kitchen's a mess, so we're conveniently, oh no, you can see some of the dishes coming up out of there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. I thought I had San Marzano, but I don't. I just have the whole peeled tomatoes. So we're gonna do two 28 ounce cans of that. Um, and it looks like I have six tomatoes that I would like to use. There is no recipe to this, none. I think I'm just gonna kind of verbalize it out loud and if this looks good to you, take notes, cause who knows if I'll make it this way again. All right, now that I have all of my tomatoes sliced in half, um, I got salt, pepper, minced garlic, 
and olive oil. So first I'm gonna put the olive oil down so it gives, it gives something for the seasoning to adhere to. Um, and then I'm gonna put the seasoning and garlic on top. Oh, I should look to see if I have any cherry tomatoes that are starting to go and toss those in there too. So basically what I'm looking for with these cherry tomatoes is like this one's just a little bit wrinkly. It's still perfectly edible, it's totally fine. But if my kids or my husband saw this, they wouldn't eat it, so, uh, as is. So it's just going straight in here instead so I can keep all the pretty ones back in the container. Because my kids and myself, my whole family, we just eat cherry tomatoes. We pop them like they're candy. But the second they start to look a little bit off, all bets are off. All right, that seems good enough. Okay, now we are going to get a good glug of olive oil all across the top of those. Uh, let's do salt and pepper and some minced garlic. And by some, I mean a lot. <laughs> oh, we like, we love a good garlicky tomato soup. We just love garlic. Who am I kidding? And while this looks like a lot for just these that are right here, Bear in mind that it's still gonna be mixed in with even more tomatoes, so. And then I'm just going to spread everything around with my hands to make sure it's uh, evenly coated so we don't have these clumps of garlic sticking around. And that's it. I'm just gonna pop, pop that into the oven. It's still preheating, but I don't care. People are like, put it to a preheated oven. I'm like, yeah, but what if I put it in at the beginning before it's preheated so it starts the cooking sooner? Plus it's gonna be in here for so long. I did, okay, after this I'm going to do my hair and fixing my face just a little. I did, uh, ooh, nope. I can't do that one-handed because I'm weak. We're a little crooked. I set it at 350. Probably gonna let that go for at least an hour because it's kind of a lower degree. I'll check it pretty consistently. So I'll look um, like 20, 30 minutes to see how it's doing. Oh, I'm kind of feeling like, do I just keep making food and like batching out food options? Do I make another round of soup while I'm here? No, I'm not gonna do that because thank you for coming with me on this journey, by the way. So exciting to do this together. We have a huge order and I have a huge order coming in from um, a bulk food supply company called Azure. Azure, Azure, is that Azure Standard. I mean, very big. So I need to figure out what's going on in our pantry and we need better canned storage because we like to have a lot of canned food on hand. Uh, one, because we eat it, and two, in case everything, anything ever happened. We'd have plenty of fruits and vegetables available. So I'm gonna show you our, our pantry right now and you are not gonna judge me for it. Okay, can we make that collective agreement together? It's chaotic at, at best. Somehow, I think Elias picked up a bunch of cans of food and then they all just got stacked in front of other things. That's cereal and oatmeal. Like this is not, this is not the can section. Our, our beef stock and broth section, chicken broth, vegetable broth, all of that goes over there. There's no room to even put all of the stock that I just bought that's somewhere, oh, way back over there. Great, that makes sense. But as you can see, we just have a lot of canned and or dried goods that we could have a better system for. I did get these semi-recently um, for, hello, hi, hello, for bulk storage. Oh, you're sitting in my foot. But we don't have anything in those sizes yet. We'll probably get them from this order. But we don't need to, ow, you're hurting my foot, baby. We don't need two giant bags of rice on the floor. We could find a better spot for those. It's just, and then all of my canning stuff that Elias got me for Christmas, oh, is you a good girl? Which I haven't even opened yet, which I'm very excited about, that we also have no storage for. So it's almost like I just need to figure out canned storage, like canned goods. We, as you know, because this door is always open, we have a bunch of cans in the door as well. So I need to come up with some sort of solution where like, our backup cans are not up front and center before we get the shipment on Monday, today's Saturday. And I, da I have been slowly collecting other organizational things for either the fridge or the pantry, but I kind of wanted to do like a big reveal video where I like organize everything and then I'm like, look it, I did it in two and a half minutes, but I didn't because it took me forever. But then again, I haven't gone out shopping for organizational stuff 
in months. So do I just start implementing them? Either way, let's go fix, fix up my face just a little bit. Just so I feel good, you know? And then, and then, check on the soup and get to the pantry. There we go. For some reason, the top curl right here is really committing to her job. And this one's already given up hope. It's been, let's see, I think about 40 minutes. I should probably change what I'm wearing because this whole black t-shirt with the cream sweater thing. There you go, had to fix lighting. Not really life-giving, but also it's, it's cold. So I, I might just end up staying like this. Um, the tomatoes and onions have been in there for like an, about 45 minutes. Here is what we're looking, oh, nope, you can't say anything. Hold please. Here's what we're looking at about 45 minutes in. You can see we're starting to get some golden color in there, but not quite enough. And I think I just sweet talked my husband into saying yes to more organizational bins. I think I'm just gonna give up on like trying to make a big reveal video and just get organized. I've had these for so long and just start getting organized. So we're gonna go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I don't know, they're all like the same place. I forget which one it is. Um, and see how many more of these we can get. Which means I'm gonna crank this up. I'm just gonna broil it for a minute to really get some color on top of that because then we're getting the roast out of it. Because then it's actually roasted. We're not getting a roast out of it. These are what I currently have and obviously they are stackable. I don't know if this stack's on here. Does this stack on here? Yes, sort of, kind of. Okay, they stack on each other though. <laughs> but I'm thinking these would be great for a cheese drawer. This would be great for jars, condiments, that kind of thing. I don't know what we'd put in this. Probably vegetables, especially if we could stack this as well. That would be really nice. Now, do I want to go all out and buy all of them from Amazon and have them all be matching? You betcha I do. But at this point, a resale store is going to be super, like resale store, you know, whatever, Marshalls or whatever. It's going to be so much cheaper than Amazon. I also have this Lazy Susan that I'd like to put in here somewhere. I have my really nice... You smell it? I have my really nice marble lazy susan here which is fine but like this is this is made for it so once he's done going to the restroom um he has finished the gate already for the horse pen um so we are gonna go ahead and let them out to wander while we go get some more organizers i need a lip color because the quick pickle worked on everything except for you now my lips look dead the most riveting content ever Perfect! Okay, ready? Look at all of that browning on top. I mean, yeah, I kind of charbroiled it there at the end with the broiler. Whoops. But I turned the oven off and we're just gonna let it. Wow! 70s Barbie called, she wants her hair back. We're gonna um, let that just stay in the oven for now. And he's gonna come with me and we're gonna go get all the organizational stuff. What, uh... <laughs> what happened? Nothing. I peed my pocket. <laughs> Did you forget you had an egg in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I, I broke it at some point, and then after I let the horses out, I put my hands in my pockets, and I'm like, what is in there? <laughs> like, no idea. And then I'm like, oh, it's that egg. That nice. Like that. Nice. That's why you always pick up the eggs last. Oh my gosh, our kitchen is an absolute war zone. Are you going to be a while? No. Okay, right, hurry up. This idea sounded way better in my mind. <laughs> We've gone to two stores. We literally put all of our purchases back in Marshalls because the line was wrapped around the inside of the building. Um, and now we are going to Home Goods. Like Black Friday status. Y yeah, unbelievably long line. Yeah. So now we're driving down to Home Goods. We're gonna do a quick run through. If we don't see anything, then we're just not gonna grab it. As much as it would be nice to pay less for it. I really want this to be an effective storage solution. And if we're buying stuff that doesn't work together, then it's not effective storage. It's not a solution. It's a problem. <laughs> and then we're not going to want to use it and it will be a waste of money. Yeah. So we got some really small little organizers that will probably end up using, I'll use them in the kids' bathroom because their drawers are kind of a mess. But other than that, it's been kind of a bust. And I'm, I hit a wall. I'm tired. I'm done. And so, so when I looked at that line in there, I was like, hard no. So one more store. Let's see if we can make it. Yeehaw, yeehaw. 
Is that your way of like wanting me to end the clip so you're doing it for me? No. Yeah. <laughs> awkward was, silence that you uh, needed to fill? There was awkward silence. So I was like, she's about to sign off. So I'll give her a sign off. Because she's out of words. Which is rare. <laughs> which means I'm really done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, home goods. Be nice to us. Just kidding, home goods isn't isn't a store yet. It's just a sign outside. There's nothing inside. <laughs> so. Oh, wait, if we take this way, are we going by Goodwill? No. Oh. We're, I mean, not technically by it. We're, we'll see it as we turn right. We're driving right past it, though. Not really. It, it'll be catty corner to our path of travel. Okay. So now we're just going to go pick up some hay <laughs> and go home. Do you want to go to Because I'm done. No, actually, that sounds awful. Yeah. I got excited for a second thinking, oh, maybe we could go thrift for a little bit, but I was tired. I'm already tired. Yeah. I don't want to go thrifting. I mean, I always I always want to go thrifting. You're tired when I suggested Cabela's, and then she got energy when she thought of Goodwill. Because what would happen in Cabela's is you would just walk around and touch everything, and yeah. then you'd want to tell me what all the stuff is. That's what you do in Cabela's. If you don't have money, you just touch everything. I dream about it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hear about all that stuff. I normally am a pretty decent sport about it. Can you stop staring at the golf course while I'm talking to you? Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking, I wonder, if, I wonder if it's cheaper today because it's so windy. Oh, look. There's Goodwill. Right there. We're going to turn right. I know we're turning right. But basically what I was trying to get to is, this is the road that leads to Goodwill, right? And you're like, well, it's not on our path of travel. That's Goodwill right there. I think I've lost patience with you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally right there. There she is. I know, I know. We're turning, we we're veering right. But this is the road that takes us to Goodwill. We need hay. That was super unsuccessful. We did get lunch, that was fun. But now I don't even want to go clean the pantry yeah. or the fridge. I'm too tired for that. I'm way too tired for that. We still need to though because Monday we, we've got that big shipment coming. We still got tomorrow. Okay, maybe I place an order on Amazon for some of these organizers then. Just yeah. rip off the band-aid. All right, I'm going to go do that. Oh, do you want to check out Northern Fuel Supply? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Why is this so fun to me? <laughs> this is so cool. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Babe. What? We just got six bales of hay tossed in the back of your pickup truck. Hey -o. For all of our livestock. <laughs> What's funny is last time I picked up hay. Yeah? Was the first time I picked up hay without the trailer. Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, yes, I think I got six bales. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think they'll fit. And then we throw them in, and I'm like, oh, I could fit like 30 more. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean. Just because it's so wide back there? We, yeah, we didn't even make the, like, one flat area. It's not even full. We could stack it two, three times. <laughs> this is just too cool. It's also cool that we're going to go home and do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Whoa, babe. This Bloody Mary yeah. is next level. Yeah. We decided it's almost five o'clock to have a drink. He got me a um, Bloody Mary mix for Christmas, even though it didn't fit in my stocking. It's a part of my stocking stuffers. I love a good spicy Bloody Mary mix, and this one is so delicious. Let's see if we still have, yeah, we do, okay. It's the Charleston Bloody Mary mix. Bold and spicy. Yes, please. Although now that's almost empty. Oh, that's so sad. Babe, it's almost gone. We need to get more. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna take too much effort. I'll put the bottle away. Okay. It's got all the ingredients on the back. <laughs> this is so nice. Do you like the garnish? Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. And now we're gonna curl up on the couch and do absolutely nothing. Remember when I was talking about organizing the pantry? That's not happening anymore. We gave up. That's the royal we. 
Because I guarantee you if I said, hey, let's go organize the pantry, that guy would be, you'd be down. You love organizing. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't wanna. So we're just gonna hide. <laughs> Hi. Oh, where, where do you, no, stay down. Okay. What the, <laughs> you, you stinker. You stinker. Uh, hello. 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 Oh, I love these dogs. Yeah. Oh, with my bougie blanket. Let's do this. Wait, my drink's really far. Oh no. Can you get it for me? Well, that's not very helpful. All right, now it's. Whew. Uh, we enjoyed one episode, but now we've got we've got puppy duty. Woo! Poop duty. Poop duty. <laughs> get it? It's like saying poop twice. Poop duty. So we have all these pine shavings in here with the pups. Um, and we try to scoop out. They like to go to the bathroom in the same spot, which makes it really easy. Or I should say easier. They like to scoop it back. Just scoop it out before moving them back. Hi, babies. Yeah, right? For puppy poop? <laughs> and now, time to move the babies. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come on, puppies. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Go. Hi. Go in there. Come here. Hi. Oh, come here. What? Yes. There you Two. go. Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> boy. boy. He's getting heavy. Yeah, he is. Come Chunky on. boy. Come on, Capone. This is Silas's oh. favorite. Silas's favorite puppy <laughs> ever. Huh, baby. All right, let's get this food water. All right. I, I'll do the very important task of snuggling. Hi. <laughs> Hi. No, don't eat my camera. Don't eat my camera. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, this rascal. Are you trying to eat my camera? Are you trying to eat my camera? Stop. Their nails are sharp. Yeah. I'm worried my jacket's gonna get all ripped up. Stop chewing on my camera, or my tripod. <laughs> Put this in there, I'll try to out. Okay, all right, next farm chore. Oh, you can come out. Uh, gotta get the horses back in their corral where they will sleep for the night. We got them horse blankets. I don't know if I've shown them on camera yet with their blankets. And the blankets are too, way too big for them. Because we have really tiny horses. <laughs> so. They only have sizes. We are aware of that. We are aware that they That's have sizes. All the place had at the time. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was dipping into the low 20s. So we just had to buy something. So now we're going to get them their half scoop of grain for the night. To get them back into the corral. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> I'm assuming the goats are all good because he's inside there with them. Yeah. Woo! Close that door up a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, there's no more horse bags in here. I don't need to go get the buckets. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll that. What? <laughs> Do you know what time it is, June? Hi guys. Oh, Bonnie. Bonnie. Jeepers. Jeepers. Alright. All right. Bonnie just realized we have a new goat. <laughs> She's stalking Steve like crazy. Oh, so did Clyde. Clyde! Lies is just gonna close. I don't know if you can even hear me. The wind's so so insane. Um, he's just gonna close the uh, the barn door a little bit more so they can get stay warmer. Poor babies. I mean, they got coats. They're fine. Oh my golly! Oh, I cannot feel my fingers. So I think that's that's it for the farm tours for tonight. We're not. We should have collected eggs today. Hopefully they don't freeze tonight. Refrigerated. Refrigerated. Oh, oh, okay. And now, oh no, I need the boot hook. <laughs> and now to get all the layers off. I can't feel my fingers. I don't know where I put my gloves. And I could make more progress on the soup, 
but we had such a late lunch that I don't think I need to. Uh, but I will tell you one thing. I've waited my whole life to live like this. So even if it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm loving every single, every single minute of it. And now I'm gonna get back under my cozy blankie and get back to my Bloody Mary. I just cannot, I cannot wait. I can't wait until like we're growing our own food and I don't know, like just the tiniest little homestead, but we're, we're trying, you know? In fact, I want to get, look into my little um, book of preserving for canning. And then Elias also got me this for Christmas. Um, volumes one and two. Well, like, we were kind of laughing about this earlier, like how we got each other Christmas gifts that really end up benefiting the entire family because he got the flat top and he got me all the canning stuff. It's all very food focused, but that's been our intent. That's like what we want this next season of life to be about is to grow our own food. Not all of it. I know it's not gonna be successful the first time. In fact, last year's garden was a travesty. We had better luck in our garden in California, but I, which, you know, weather was perfect and whatever, but I think the hardest for us is the sprinkler system. We need a sprinkler system because hand watering a garden of that size every day or how often, however often it needs to be watered, it's not working. Yeah, we don't have to do everything perfectly, but I would like to nail a few things. In fact, I wrote down a list of goals that I want to achieve this year. I don't know where it is, but one of them was just like grow three vegetables successfully. Just three, like it doesn't have to be a ton of them. We're gonna plant more than three, but I just hope that three of them are a success. Um, so this is about eating, here's perfect, yeah. Eat locally and sustainably, eat seasonally, shop at farmer's markets, plant a garden, conserve, compost, and recycle, cook simply, cook together, eat together. Remember, food is precious. So I'm excited about this one. And the other one, I'm nervous to can. But it can't be that hard if like thousands of people do it, right? So he's out doing a quick measurement of the gate because we're having someone come to give us a quote about um, get putting a full fence on that front pasture. Um, so he doesn't have to because stretching fencing is really hard if you don't have the right equipment. But he needs to know the size of the gates. That's all I had. That's the end of that clip.